Oh, meter? Yeah. It was at 54 something, now it's 53.6. Yeah. 53.4. Yep. Who's down here with us? It's already starting, man. Can you tell us your name? Damn. Everything's going crazy. It is. 54.2. I mean, that's a brand new battery, fresh out of the pack. Yeah, nothing. No unusual hits. It's just strictly temperature fluctuation. Can you tell us who you are? It always makes me wonder too, because it, every time we investigate this part of the house, yeah. something will immediately happen. And to me, it's kind of like it's will to push you into one spot. And then you have to really be concerned yep. with what's going on around you. So weird. Yeah, did you hear it? Yeah. What was that? Right behind you. Something just fell behind you. What was that? Was that thrown at you or did it fall or what? It sounded like something hit and then bounced. Yeah. yeah. Something over here. Yeah, that was thrown in your direction. Hit the wall right behind Jamie. That's crazy. It did. So who threw something? We'd like to know. You think you could move something else? We have a lot of different things here. That was crazy. Uh-huh. That was, I mean, look at the intensity of all the events that just transpired. And it was so fast. Yeah. So fast. Like you said, just immediately introducing us into this basement and it's already, like we're walking down the stairs, it's happening. Right. <laughs> yeah, the meter's going off, but we, don't, we couldn't even hear it until we breached the bottom of the steps. Yep, exactly. You hear that thump? Yeah, what was that? That was right that over was here. in that other room. Yeah. Meter, meter goes off, right? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Man. Right when you step in here. Yeah. Right when you step inside. There we go. Somebody in here? Where flashlight, you? did you see that? Look at this. Mine's doing it too. Yeah, both of our flashlights, they're, guys. They're dimming. Yeah, flickering. Like something's drawing power from it. Look at this. Dude, that's nuts. Totally flickering. It's still going. Something is in here. Yeah. Who are you? We know you're here. What the hell was that? That was something. Could you say that again? Are you okay with us being in here? Let us know. Something just walked by there, guys. Through that window. Something moved down the other side of the window. Down here. Yeah. And then the meter uh, goes off. Dude, this is so trippy. Round and round we go. Okay. 
So quite a lot has happened so far. You've set this off multiple times. You threw something at one of our investigators. You made verbal sounds at least three times. We heard a thump. Is there something you would like to say to us? We're all ears. How many spirits are here with us? Two? Make a sound. Confirm it for us. Sound like a little kid's voice. It did? Yeah. That was such a small, like... Voice. I don't know, like, just, yeah. Weird. I'm trying to decide if that was my eyes or what. You seeing stuff over there? It looked, well, I mean, literally, it looked like something kind of small peeked out from behind the cellar door right there. Oh, wow. If somebody's over there, could you make a noise? If I saw you, can you just knock on that door? Anything at all? Yeah, I mean, it looked like something here. Probably about this height. It was just kind of like this but it was so quick you know and i and with the flashlight strobing i was trying to decide if it was just kind of a anomaly of the eye you know right. from the strobing light look at this thing strobe it's it's getting more intense it's insane This is that calm before the storm right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, That's what it does. It's like you can feel it, man. Yeah, you can. You can. It's when you know something is going to happen. What was that? Is there something like moving? Yeah. What the hell? Was, did that come from that I room? I swear it came from in here. Like it was right when I shone my light in there, too. Do you think you could come out here? Maybe come visit with us. It's hard to keep track. There's so many things going on. That's interesting. Look at that. What do you got? At least Whoa. I'm going to try to touch the... That's freaking weird, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Very strange. You know what's really strange, too, is think about what I just said about seeing something peak, right? Right. Now, look at how the hands would have to be. Why would your hand be that low? That's true. Unless you're kind of peering around, but you're keeping your balance at the same time. That's super unusual. Yeah, if you could come out here, that would be great. Come on out in this area. Maybe we should try some ITC communication. Would you like to talk to us?
What's your name? What's my name? Did I see somebody peeking over here? Is somebody in the cellar? Melmeter going off. What was that? That was really bizarre. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. Can we help you? Where are you right now? Home. Home. Yeah, it was yeah. very definitive. Who keeps setting off the meter? Is it you? Can you bang on something right now? Can you knock really hard? Door. Yeah. Okay, which door? We're listening. This door. It just did. I just heard a thump on this door. Okay, so you're standing here right now. Did I see you peeking? How long did you used to live here for? How many years? Did you say Annie? Yeah. Wow. Where is she? Is Annie behind me? A scream. Did we hear Annie upstairs? Is that who was crying and making that scream kind of sound? It says come in here. Yeah, it did. Come in here. Please. Come in here, please. Okay, I'm in here. We're in here. What the? F Did you just do that up there? Right above us. Did somebody just knock on the on the ceiling? Annie, is that you? Bro, something, <laughs> something touched me, dude. Something crazy is happening. Yeah, something, something brushed me. Who's here? Let us know, please. It was crazy because it thumped right above oh, me. Yeah. And then a few seconds later, I felt something on my coat behind me. Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want to talk to us? You asked us to come in here. Is there a reason? Is there something in here you want us to see or experience? Dude. It's above you. Yeah. Something just like, I don't even know what that was. That wasn't a spider web. It wasn't anything like that. That felt like fingers on my head. It's, it's hard to say, like, is it reaching out to us, like, for help? Or is it messing with us? Like, what's it doing? That was so trippy. It said hair. Did you yeah. see it? It said hair. Jesus. That messed me up pretty good.
Can, see? Can I see you? I'm looking. Can you help me see you? Don't talk to Don't her. Don't talk to her. Why? Why shouldn't we talk to her? Why, dude? What'd you see? Something just moved for real right here. Right through there. On the other side. Yeah. What is going on, man? Are you here right now? Please tell us. Annie, I think I saw you. I think I saw you the first time there too. I think that was you both times. Did I see you through the window? And then the other spirit says, don't talk to don't her. Don't talk to her. And that don't was talk to so her. plain, man. Yeah. Like plain as day, don't talk to her. Like who's trying to keep her quiet and why? Annie, it's okay if you want to talk to us. Feel free. You can say anything you want, okay? Annie, where did you go? Something just tried to come through. Are you trying to trick us again? Andy, can you please come back to us? Let us know where you are, please. We want to help you. Whoa. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. What's wrong, Annie? Are they scaring you? Who's scaring you? Tell us. Annie, do you feel stuck here? Something moved out here. Did it? It's like she's moving away or something. It's like some, I feel like something is pushing her away. Are you gonna let us talk to her? Are you stopping it? Something. That was something. Dude. That freaking thing's still ripping in there too. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy, man, because as I'm maneuvering around trying to communicate with her. Wow. Let's examine some of those right. photos. Jamie, can you get the SLS running? So this one here is the one you just took, is that right? Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at that too, right? What is that? It looks like... I... So, yeah, we're going to have to really examine that. Okay, you got the SLS running? Yeah, it's rolling. Josh, I'm going to hand this over to you. Sure, of course. All 
That's insane. I mean, it's just setting the thing off completely yeah. nonstop. Okay, Annie, we'd like to see you. If you're here. It's super strange because I swear I turned this flashlight Whoa. on. Yeah. And it went off. Yes. I turned it back on because I'm thinking, okay, I didn't turn it on. Did you guys see it or not? Dude, yeah. that was nuts. Can you turn it off? Bro, this what is crazy. What the hell is going on with this? Check it thing? out. Check it out. So, come here and get this. Can you guys get yeah, this? Yeah. Okay. Turn it on. on. And it's already up. And, and it doesn't no. even make any sense because why would it turn back on if it were dead? Look. Yeah. It, that thing is full on bright. That doesn't even make sense. That was insane, man. I mean, twice while you had it in your hand. Yeah. We can see you with this little screen here. If you just come in front of us. Can you come toward me? Are you in here? Are you in the cellar? Annie, are you here? Did you hear that? What was that? It sounded like tapping from here. Makes you wonder like if it's Like a metallic tap. type yeah, of tap or right. something? I did hear it. Like maybe something's on the other side. Oh, possibly. Just making a mental note too, that flashlight's still on. Annie, are you in here? Is anybody in here? We'd like to see you. Go ahead and tap on the window again. Don't be afraid. The f was that? That was a very distinct tap. Was that? that was a very distinct tap. It's like a needle in a haystack. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this will help us. What are you thinking? Let's see.
Can you tell us where you are? Back door? Back door? Are you talking about this door? Oh, shit, guys. What just happened there? Did you see it? There was something weird just happened to the screen. Like it actually, I stopped in my tracks for a second. I've never seen what that. What was that? I don't know. Dude, it feels freaking weird over here. Like I got a cold spot or something. The heck's going on? We would like to see you. Please tell us where you are. There's a really weird vibe over here, uh -huh. dude. Yeah, big time. Where did you go? Did you knock above my head? <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> okay, now, this is it. We want to see you. You got to come toward my voice. Do you want to be seen? It's completely running us around. Yeah. It's not going to show itself. Yeah, it's definitely smart enough. It's not going to show itself. It's just kind of like running us in circles. Right, totally. I just don't understand. That thing was ripping the whole time it that was. we were walking all over this. Yeah, and then it just... <laughs> you can't even say it just stopped without it turning right back on. And the flashlight, man. Yeah. Both flashlights. I don't even, I can't even understand. It's still on. Yeah. And then the female voice, the child voice. And how many times did it respond intelligent? Three times audibly that we've heard now throughout the course of this evening so far. In an hour, three times, like audibly. Give me a break, man. That doesn't happen. It's pretty impressive, man. It is. Really.
So the investigation down in the basement, um, needless to say, pretty much like every investigation in this house, did not disappoint. Um, it was completely insane down there. So as soon as we get to the bottom of the stairs and kind of breach that area, we can hear the mel meters going off. Uh, this doesn't surprise me because I feel like many investigations here begin with us entering the realm that we're going to investigate and one of our meters are going off already, instantly. It's almost like a diversion tactic. It wants you to go to a specific area and kind of hone in on that, almost, I guess, as misdirection for whatever the purpose is. That being said, we know that there are multiple spirits here. So is it some type of game or is one spirit trying to warn us to not communicate with another? Um, we're still kind of unraveling this mystery. We get down there, we begin asking questions right away. Who's here? I start snapping some Polaroids, um, instant photos in the direction of the activity. Interesting enough, we hear something hit the wall and kind of bounce off right behind Jamie. We start hearing more verbal communication, uh, EVPs that we can actually hear with our naked ear, trying to solidify who is this, where is it coming from. We're hearing a gamut of sounds upstairs uh, from this main floor. Again, not a surprise. Many times while we're investigating, we're going to hear walking coming from above us or underneath us depending on what floor we're at again trying to pull our attention trying to divert us to something else uh, again why does this happen we're not necessarily sure this is all part of the greater picture uh, the data that we're trying to pull together through these investigations the activity starts to get relentless on top of hearing audible voices the mel meter going completely crazy i pull out the spirit box start asking questions with the spirit box, getting definitive responses. All of a sudden, at one point, we're being pulled into the cellar. We're going in there using the spirit box. We start hearing the name Annie. I feel like I'm being touched, being brushed. Even Joey later on stated that he felt that something was tugging on the back of his sweatshirt. Josh started to feel something as if something was brushing his hair. Again, more definitive responses. Eventually, we pull out the SLS system walking around, kind of scanning the area. Um, I think it was intelligent enough to not reveal itself. Somehow it has that capability. The flashlight, super interesting. Right from the beginning of going into the cellar, my flashlight starts to flicker and it continues to, to accelerate at this pace to the point where it's almost strobing, like something was trying to draw the power from it. Eventually I pick up another flashlight turn it on, it turns itself off. Clearly manipulating the devices, not wanting us to communicate with Annie, whoever she is. That's obviously something new that's come into the picture. Sounds, knocks, and I could go on. This was a very intense investigation. And more importantly, more information came. 